Hello, and welcome to ULM Prep's technology session. This video will show you how to log into and navigate MyULM to access many essential ULM technology resources. The MyULM portal is a gateway to all of ULM's online student programs that students use throughout the year. The MyULM system is a convenient one-stop shop that grants you access to your email, grades, bills, payment options, transcripts, calendar, and many other things. Logging into MyULM is simple. First, open up a new tab and then go to ULM's homepage at www.ulm.edu and then click the MyULM link located towards the top right-hand corner of the screen. Simply, type your username and password in their respective boxes and then click login. If you do not know your username, click the Help tab. Type your campus-wide ID number, or your CWID for short, in the indicated box. Your CWID can be found on the back of your PrEP name tag. Once you have entered your CWID into this box, click the button labeled Get Account Name. Your username will then be displayed, and you may now log in. Your default password will be your six-digit date of birth, consisting of your two-digit birth month, your two-digit birthday, and the last two digits of your birth year in that order, plus the last four numbers of your CWID. For example, if you were born on February 4, 2001, and your CWID was 12345678, your password would be 02040156780. Now it is time for you to log into My ULM. If you are unable to log in, raise your hand and a prep staff member will assist you. Please pause the video at this time and log in. Once you have logged in, click play to continue. Click the campus systems tab at the top of your screen. On the right side of the screen is where you will access many student resources. The first system that we will explore is Banner. In Banner, you are able to access your financial aid information, student bills and accounts, transcripts, and so much more. Banner is also where you will register for your classes tomorrow. Click the icon that says Banner. Once you are on the Banner homepage, click the link that says Login to access your personal ULM information. In the User ID box, Type in your CWID and enter your PIN in the second box. Your PIN is the six-digit date of birth consisting of your two-digit birth month, your two-digit birthday, and the last two digits of your birth year in that order. For example, if you were born on February 4th, 2001, your PIN would be 020401. If this is your first time logging into Banner, you will be prompted to change your PIN from the default PIN. Please pause the video at this time and log into Banner. Once you have logged in, click Play to continue. Click on the Student tab towards the top and then go to Student Records. Then click on View Holds to see if you have any holes preventing you from registering for classes tomorrow. All incoming freshmen will have the FTF Academic Advising Hold that will be lifted before you register tomorrow. If you have holds other than the academic advising hold or holds that you have previously taken care of, please pause the video and raise your hand so that a prep staff member can assist you. After reviewing your holds, click on the student tab again, then click on student account. Now click on account detail for term and choose fall, then hit submit. This is where you will see your fee bill, which consists of tuition and fees, scholarships, loans, grants, and any other form of money used to pay your fee bill. This is also where you can go to pay your bill before classes start. Also, if you do not see a bill yet, do not be discouraged. Bills will be available the beginning of July to review. Next, we will explore the ULM email system. Return to the My ULM Campus Systems page. Here you will find the link to your email. Your ULM email address is your My ULM username 
followed by warhawks.ulm.edu. Click on the email icon. This is how your email will appear. Click on the email from Warhawk Alert that bears the subject Member Portal Registration Invitation. Warhawk Alert is ULM's emergency notification system. Read this email and follow its instructions to update your emergency contact information and preferences. Please pause the video at this time to update your Warhawk Alert information. Once you have finished updating your Warhawk Alert account, please click play to continue. Now that you have finished updating your Warhawk Alert account, return to My ULM Campus Systems page. Click the Launch Flight Path button. Flight Path is an online system that allows students to view their progress within their curriculum. By clicking the View tab, students can see how many credit hours they have, their cumulative GPA, and other information. This page shows which classes comprise the curriculum for a particular student's major. Another great feature of FlightPath is the What If feature. This feature is great for students who are considering changing majors because it allows students to see which of the classes that they have already taken will count towards the new major that they are considering and shows the classes required for that new major. To do this, simply click the drop down box and select the major. After this video has finished, feel free to navigate FlightPath and any of the other My ULM resources. Now return to the My ULM Campus Systems page. Click the Launch Moodle button. During the semester, each of your classes will be listed on Moodle. Within each class, teachers post class materials such as PowerPoint presentations, helpful videos, and homework assignments. You may also take some of your quizzes and tests on Moodle. Hopefully this video has helped to introduce you to the My ULM system. You will be using My ULM and Banner to register for classes tomorrow. Lastly, this video will show you how to log in to our on-campus computers and how to print from them. Once you enter a computer lab, for example in the library or the Student Success Center, this screen will appear. Type in your My ULM username and password. This will grant you access to the desktop and internet. If you have to print out something, you will simply click the print icon. However, you will have to locate the printing station in the computer lab and log in using your My ULM username and password again. Then, you will select the items you want to be printed and click print. Once you have retrieved your printed documents, make sure to go back to your computer and log out of the desktop. Always log out, otherwise other students can access your information. If you have any questions, feel free to ask a prep staff member.